Hey guys, gals. Well, let's get caught up a little bit on this cruising adventure. I know I got to Harrington Harbor was great. I did spend an extra night there because of the uh, weather. And that's kind of how this whole trip has been. I've either had to motor or stay at a marina because of high winds. And I mean gale force winds. But I got out of uh, Harrington Harbor fine and headed to Solomon's Island and that was kind of uneventful and that I mean it was a good time nothing went wrong did get the sails up for a little bit not much though because we only had about a 10 knot wind and wasn't going very far very fast so I motored most of the way in and Solomon's is a great little town easy to get into there is a little shoal area just pay attention to that I stayed at Harbor Island Marina. It's one of the closest marinas when you come in. I'd like to thank Leonard for his hospitality. And that's also one of the closest marinas to walking into town. Now, it was January. There wasn't a lot of shops. Well, a lot of the shops were open, but there are, were a few that were closed. But there's still plenty of activity and things to do. And that was good because I wound up spending four nights there because of Gale Force win. So finally I got a break in the weather, headed out and going to Reedville. And that was my next stopover point. And I had, you know, a two to three foot chop against me and winds coming out of the south. I mean just straight out of the south and I'm heading south and not being that good a sailor. I didn't want to get the sails up and get into a lot of trouble uh, because they were pretty strong winds. And I planned on being about a nine hour cruise. Well, I gotta tell you, man, the Potomac just ate me up. It took me three and a half hours to get past the mouth of the Potomac. I mean, three to four foot waves straight on the bow, uh, winds dead against me you know and I'm motoring just as fast as I can go there were times I was only doing a knot knot and a half so by the time I got to Reedville it's nighttime it's dark there's no moon the winds are still blowing hard now getting into Reedville is normally a pretty easy task it's a wide creek it's deep it's well marked but they're not a lot of lit buoys. Fortunately, I had the GPS program, you know, and I just followed dot from dot to dot, and almost two dot to dot. I almost hit one of the one of the buoys. I mean, I had the marker right on it. You, you know, you got to pay attention. So anyway, I got into Reedville, tied up, hooked up the electric, and talked to the dock master. He said, you know, just tie up. They're closed, but. You know, I could spend the night there. So the next day didn't look too bad. Small craft advisories, but I figured, hey, I got to go. I got to keep moving on. I can't let a little thing like small craft advisories hold me back. So I'm heading to Cape Charles. Again, not much wind. So I don't know where three, four foot, no, nah, I'm not four foot, but a good three foot rollers. It must have been, you know, the days before all the water that got pushed up into the bay is trying to get back out. But the good thing was it was a following sea. They were rollers. They weren't breakers. So like the day before, I'm doing a knot, knot and a half, and other times three knots, getting to Cape Charles. I was doing six, sometimes seven knots over ground. I mean, they just moved me right along nicely. And getting into Cape Charles, well, that's really easy, too. You look for the old plantation flats uh, light, which is now just a tower. Uh, but you find that, and the channel is wide and deep. And getting into the harbor, really easy to do. They've redone that. It's beautiful, all floating piers. Uh, and I'll have the video up on Cape Charles here and put a link here that you can watch at. It's been a week there. It was great. So now I'm getting ready to head from Cape Charles to Portsmouth, which was my final destination. 
and again, you know, it was a little choppy out. The day before we had gale force winds and it was really choppy on the bay. But I get out on the bay and I got all these rollers again. Virtually no wind, but all these big rollers. Well, halfway across, my engine starts to sputter. And I thought, you know, when I was in Cape Charles, I thought, you know, I better change this fuel filter pretty soon. But I didn't have a spare one on board, and I thought, well, when I get to Portsmouth, I'll change it. Well, the engine dies. I know it's got to be the fuel filter. I don't have a spare one on board. Luckily, I wasn't in a uh, shipping channel. But what the heck am I going to do? So I set the tiller tender, and I go below. I take the old filter off. I drain some fuel. I mean, this thing is really gunky. I tap it, I get it cleaned out, put it back on, get all the air bled, come back up, get the engine restarted, 45 minutes later, by the way. So now the rest of the trip, I'm just paranoid as hell. Every time the engine makes a little different sound, and you know, depending on the wave action, the engine will make a different sound. <sighs> but things ran pretty good. I'm going into... Portsmouth and I'm in front of all the warships uh, there at uh, Norfolk and the engine starts to sputter. Man, I can just see it. The engine's going to die. I'm going to float into these warships and they're just going to blow me out of the water, right? Well, I push that throttle in, man. I just force that thing. I, whatever I did, man, it just kicked whatever was in there out. Next thing you know, I'm doing 4,000 RPMs. I back it down. I keep on going. And my destination is um, Ocean Marine Yacht Center in Portsmouth. Easy to get into also. I'm coming in. I come around the bend. The dock hand is there. It robbed to give me a hand. Shows me where I'm going to go. And now I'm worried about pulling the engine back too far that it's going to die again. And now I'm in the middle of the fairway. I can't just throttle up there. Well, the engine kept running. I put it in reverse, we start backing in, I toss Ron a line, he grabs a line, he pulls me in, boom, the engine stops. Thank goodness I was at the marina. And Ocean Marine Yacht Center, they've got a huge parts department. I mean, they work on mega yachts and stuff, so they had all the filter, you know, and they had everything I need and then some. So I got a filter, I got things changed, uh, and Portsmouth was a wonderful town. Uh, the video will be up, or the video is up on that. I'll put a link here so you can see that one. I tell you, this sailing in January on the Chesapeake Bay, it's been an adventure. Well, stay tuned, and until next time, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.